Three, two, one, or is it good? Welcome to YouTube Live. This is our Moby series. Uh, we're going to be talking about Moby's uh, tips and tricks. I'm Brent. This is Thanks. Dennis. Dennis, what do you do for FreeFly? I we develop software here as a whole team. I also lead the efforts of managing, putting everything together. Um, also working with Brent on cool designs on the UI end of things and on the product design end of things and how we uh, how we lay out everything, what kind of features we should have. Um, yeah. Getting feedback from people, a so, lot of people, a lot of feedback from people about the app and what they like and don't like about it and adjustments and stuff. And it's then, fun. Yeah, using our products a lot. Yeah. Um, great, so let's go to the, the board here. We're, we're going to be going over um, tips and tricks with Movi. Um, we got this nice monitor here. It's a ready for us to go here. Um, first thing we're going to go through is uh, behind the scenes of a recent uh, bike edit that I did with uh, Colton. It, we just kind of demoed it before in the, at the beginning. Um, we'll go behind the scenes on that and then we'll go over what we keep in our movie kits like our backpacks, my bag and also Dennis's bag and then a couple of uh, little trick shots, little shots that we like to do around the office and at home and uh, if you guys have any questions, just shout them out. Uh, we got some people here monitoring the feed, so if you got questions, let us know. Um, technical creativity kind of questions, just whatever you guys not whatever, whatever you guys want, we can we can answer it. <laughs> so behind the scenes, like I said a couple weeks ago, um, I was with Colton, and we went down to UW and we shot. Um, I just like kind of just followed him on the boosted board as he was on his bike and we went to Red Square and we went downtown. Um, it's a lot of fun. And tip of the spear. Brent. Tip of the spear. Tip of the spear. Tap says tip of the spear. <laughs> um, <laughs> going into it, so what I had for my Moby settings, let's grab this. So for this for this shoot here, what I had, I had it on a medium response. And then I had one window. Now, response is how fast the movie's going to react to your movements. Um, and window is going to be the amount, the mo the movie, the, the amount of degrees the movie will ignore your movements. So, for example, if I change the window to something like, if I fill it up like that and I move like this, it's not going to move with me. But if I change it to just like no cells at all and I move like that, it's going to react a lot faster to me. And then the response, just kind of give you the extremes here, slow will give me a, a slow response. Then if I go to fast, it'll stay more like one to one with me. So for this, I had it on medium and, and one cell on the window. Um, I, knew, I didn't want it too jerky. I knew I was going to be like vaguely pointing at him. There's some BTS footage here. I'm on the boosted board, so I wasn't like looking at the, the the screen too much, but I was more like watching him, watching the road, any potholes or rocks or anything like that. Um, so th those that was the majestic setting. And those are the window. Um, I also had it on 4K at 60 frames a second. Uh, I have the iPhone 10. Um, I wanted the max resolution at the max uh, frame rate, without using that HEIC format thing. <laughs> And for some reason that doesn't compute well with me or with other programs. So I had it at 4K at 60 frames a second. Um, 
so I can slow it down. There's a couple of slow-mo shots. Yeah. Yeah, just on that point, uh, for some people it might get confusing, like all the frame rates and resolution options. Um, for that, we put a new knowledge base article on our website. Uh, if you go to support uh, for Freefly and then find uh, this title, resolution and frame rate. Uh, based on what type of user we are, we wrote, we wrote two different sections. One of them is basic, just covering the basics. Uh, if you are more pro, who are used to frame rates and resolution, you can read the ninja section to see how we defined our own settings. Since we have different ones where we call base frame rates, we have a preferred resolution setting. Uh, so this kind of describes you all the settings you have. Question. Yes. Will you be releasing an API soon so that apps like Film Pro can use? That's a okay. definitely yes. It's in yeah. progress. We are currently testing it. Uh, yeah, soon enough we will be releasing to public. Okay. Mm -hmm. And lastly, in this uh, knowledge base article, you can also take a look at your personal camera settings. We did a nice little table to show what each camera has support for uh, and which kind of format has like the best options. Uh, for instance, like Brand said, he's using 60 frame rate per second. That's because iPhone is capable of producing quality images, whereas if you were to pick 240 frame per second, uh, most of the phones, iPhones have reduced image quality, so that's usually not preferred. And yeah, take a look at the knowledge base document to get a better understanding. I have a question for you. Uh, will your app support tracking in the future? Yes, definitely, yeah. That's a fun feature to have, especially when you're riding on a boost board through Seattle. Just have it track Colton as you ride along, that would have been nice. Um, to kind of show you guys how to change frame rate, that's like what Dennis was talking about. On the bottom right here, it says 60 FPS. If you just toggle it, it'll go to like the next uh, series higher. So it went to 120, but it dropped my resolution to 1080. Then I can go to 240, and it keeps it at 1080 as well. But if I go back to 30, which is my base frame rate, and you can change that, and I'll show you guys how. Um, I usually shoot with this, but with this like with this video, I, I kept it at 60. So to change your base frame rate, you go to the menu, and then camera, and say base frame rate here, and then there's 30 or 24. Uh, 30 seems to be performing a little bit better. Uh, 24 seems to be kind of glitchy almost. Um, yeah, the, yeah. So technical explanation on that is currently iOS itself is picking what shutter speed uh, is running on the background. Until we have full control over that in certain light conditions, 30 FPS produces better quality because it doesn't like jitter. Uh, but most of the time I personally use 24 because it produces more cinematic looking shots. But that's assuming you have not too bright or not too dark of an environment. Um, so if you see some issues with 24, you can always go back to 30 FPS. Um, and on that topic, we received a few feedback on uh, frame rates. Um, apparently a lot of people in Europe are in need of 25 frame, uh, frame rate per second. Um, so we are planning to add that in the near future. 25 frames? 25, yeah. That's interesting. You're up, man. Before, yeah. <laughs> Brent, we have a couple more questions for you. Sure. Uh, suggestion about how to balance an iPhone X in the movie case without a lens. Pulling off the weights doesn't seem to help. The moment lens? Yes. So balancing all this without the lens? Yes. Removing the weights doesn't help? Yes. It's interesting because, I mean, once you do that, I can just do, do a quick demo. You don't have to. This is an iPhone X moment case. Movie. Uh, so it depends on how picky you are. The most important one is the roll balance. If you get close enough at that, yeah. I don't, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if they weren't moving the phone after they took off the weights and they kept it off center. Yeah, the movie is currently off. Like it's not stabilizing. It's just me balancing it. Right. I, I don't know if they just says, if they just took off the weight, the, took off the weights and left the phone where it is. Yeah. Because once you take those off, you're gonna have to balance it. Yeah. So just shift the, the left to right to get a good enough roll balance, and Movi will do take care of the rest. Uh, if you're trying to like check in this position, it might not. 
Uh, I usually check in horizontal. Another question for you, uh, Brent. Did you edit at 24 FPS? Uh, I edit, edited at 30 for this video. So I, I shot at 60, edited at 30, so that a couple of the shots I would ramp down back to uh, is this this jumping shot. Well, not this one, but one of the shots. He jumps, and then I slow it down, slow the 60 frame down to 30, and then it then I ramp back up. So I wanted that capability, so I kept it at 60, and then edited it in 30. Um, any other questions? I have a couple more. How do you know that a movie is fully charged? There's these, there's the LEDs at the bottom here. These lights all light up. Since I was using it kind of some, somewhat today, this, this last one's, I think it's out, a little bit out. But once those are all full, it's fully charged. Also, the indicator should turn off once. If you left the movie at charger, you'll see everything, all the LEDs turning off when it's fully charged. So the last blinking LED will also stop blinking and uh, LEDs should turn off. <sighs> A little LaCroix there. <laughs> One of my favorite flavors, actually. Anyways, uh, for this shot, for this shoot, I also use the Moment Wide. I use that um, to kind of, like I said, I was kind of vaguely pointing it at Colton as he was riding through, so I wanted a wide shot so I, so that I can capture as much as I could. And I used the counterweights, obviously, because you need those. Um, and then I was on the boosted board, and we just got the uh, extended battery for the boosted board. Um, it goes, I, I can't remember the specs on it, but it, it goes, still goes like 22 miles an hour, and it goes like 16 miles or something. Um, but the battery's great. Uh, it has better like acceleration, better uphill performance. Um, and I was able, like the, the wheels are nice and big. I was able to ride on this like cobblestone and not have any issues. Um, especially little rocks and puddles were, weren't an issue either. Um, if you can kind of see how I'm riding it, I had the throttle with my left hand and I had the Movi in my right. I'm not used to having the throttle of the boosted board in my left hand, so it was a little awkward. I, I got used to it pretty fast. But uh, in shooting with the right hand, that's, that's what I wanted. That's how I shoot with the Movi in, in general. Um, Do you have a question? Yeah. Question, yeah. What are your thoughts about iPhone camera settings, H.264 or the HEVC? So it's, in theory it sounds great since it produces similar image quality with much less storage. Uh, but the issue is a lot of the world doesn't yet support that format, uh, including a lot of the other apps. Uh, so for now we explicitly said not to use that format in Movi app. Um, even if your camera supports uh, H.265, it will still record in H.264 in the Movi app. Have you done any tests with the 8 plus moment wide and ND filter? Mm -hmm. to... We've done 8 plus and moment wide, but not with oh, an ND, ND filter. Yeah, I can't remember if uh, Ty Evans had it. Yeah, I know he had an ND filter, but I don't know yeah. what phone he had on. Was an X, okay. X and 8 Plus are, I think, identical cameras, except X also has uh, optical stabilization on the tele lens, so. Yeah. No, I haven't tested personally. Something we can definitely do, though. I mean, not that we got that stuff. Any other questions? Having trouble balancing my 7 Plus with moment lens using counterweights along the tilt axis. Can you demonstrate? Do we have a Plus phone here? Is that 7 Plus, right? 7 Plus, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, it's the same principle, though. Um, so you could sh still show how you do tilt balance. So let me throw it off. Let me just throw this weight. Tilt balance is off. It's throwing it like forward and a little bit to the right. So I'm going to push this weight back. Almost nailed it. Looks like it rolls a little off, so we'll tilt, tilt got it. Roll looks pretty good too, actually. So shifting these weights in and out will help with the tilt balance. Looks like that one's falling over, there you go. And obviously pivoting off of these will fix the roll, or adjust the roll balance as well. Right here. Now it's gonna be all off. Oh, I got it back, like that. 
Then I tap the blue, and the blue means it's sleeping, so the motors are off. And actually, a quick tip, pro tip, you can you can move this graphic around. I don't know if, I don't know if you can get this, but there's a little notch at the top and at the bottom of the phone clamp where you can line up this little graphic so that you know where it was balanced if you did it once before. And then tap it again to wake it up so the motors are active. Can you tell uh, what shutter speed you're running at at any time? Uh, no, Mobi app currently doesn't display that. Um, but that's definitely that really important. Um, so it's on our next uh, camera uh, feature list to be able to lock your shutter angle to a specific angle and then you'll be able to change the ISO to adjust your exposure. That'll be nice. Yeah. I'm excited for that. You really need that. Yeah. You just need 50 more developers. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so kind of moving along with this edit, I try to keep in mind like the finished result of it. So I had a couple of like shots that I wanted throughout the whole thing. It was a little chaotic. I, I met Colton at the at Red Square and then I was like, let's let's go somewhere else. Let's get a different location. And we just took off down the street. And so I knew that was kind of happen. And so I wanted to like get some shots that I wanted. Um, one of the shots I wanted uh, was a tracking shot. Um, there was a spot on the street where I was, there was like no cars and I can be on the street and then track him on the sidewalk as he was riding. Um, it was a little sketchy because, you know, cars and stuff like that, but that's the shot I wanted and I was able to get it. And again, like I keep thinking like, I need to do this for a long time, but really I need like five seconds max to get this, to get it in the edit. You know, it's not gonna last too long. Um, another one was leading and following. Um, just two different angles of, the, of a similar move, which is really nice. Um, it helps tie the edit together and tie a direction together as well. Um, two, two angles on one trick. So we're out in front of this like car dealership and Colton says he can jump over the, the handrail, which is like nine steps above, like, of, of height. And I was getting kind of nervous because I was like, how many times can you do this? Because I don't know, I want to make sure I get it. So I might have you do it a couple times like, oh, that's easy. I can do that as much as, <laughs> as, much, as, much, as, you need, as much as you need. So I was able to get it tracking with him and then I got it kind of like a, a counter move as he was jumping and I was slowly moving up on, on this on, on this angle. Then you, obviously when he jumps off and then you cut it to the other angle so this is all in the edit there. Um, another thing, I was trying to stay low, um, especially with the wide. Um, the skate videos I've seen and other action stuff like staying kind of low helps give like a perspective of speed where you can see the ground. Um, and I try to do that. I wasn't like, oh, I was, I wanted to do that. There you go. I wanted to do that, but I, I didn't always remember to do that, which was my fault, but I always try to keep, keep that in mind. Um, next thing was lighting. Uh, we were there around seven o'clock and then we were out till like nah, 830 or something. Um, best light that we got the whole shot was at the beginning when I met him at, uh, at, at U Village, or at, U, at the Red Square, and I had him go towards the light, and I wanted to backlight him, and there was enough bounce from the buildings around it to, to light him up so that the phone didn't drop that, 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 uh, that light on him. So that was probably the best light, and that was the opening shot that I put on the edit. Any other questions coming through? How much is the Mobi? Mobi is two ninety nine on GoMobi.com. Yes. Auto tune after balance? You don't have to. You don't have to, but if it's your I first do. Time, you would do it. But if you're constantly switching back and forth between like a land setup and a bare bone setup, you can, once you have that auto tune, that will get saved under that custom preset. So if you remove everything and balance it back, you can go back to a regular preset or a plus preset. And then if you put things back and balance again, you can go back to your custom preset without auto tuning again. I can show you where those are. So I tap the menu, main settings, tuning. There's a low, regular, plus, and custom. Right now mine's on custom because I got the weights and the lens. And I've started the auto tune. But Dennis was saying if this if regular is your setup without the lens, without the counterweight, it, it'll always remember that, those settings that you should have in there. So you can just toggle between these two.
Yeah. Once you auto tune, those settings get saved under the custom preset. Um, another thing I was thinking of while shooting was speed, kind of staying with Colton, going in and out with Colton, um, trying, to, trying to just move the camera as much as possible um, to keep it kind of dynamic like that. Uh, another one was trying to stay safe. You got a question? Almost? No. Yeah. Oh. Uh, trying to stay safe. Again, we were out in... Seattle and safe, safe for me and safe for other people. I mean, there's like ruts and seams of concrete and we were in the street, we were on the sidewalks, we were dodging people. Um, I didn't want to hit anyone. I didn't want to hit a rock and biff it. Uh, and then again, Colton, I didn't want him to get hurt. Uh, that would have been bad. <laughs> you want to answer? Yeah, image stabilization of iPhone. Unfortunately, although we knew we probably wouldn't be able to come up with a solution. We still tried a lot of different ways to come up with like a solution for stabilization, including the magnets uh, you guys posted. Um, and then we tried a lot of software hacks to kind of turn off the stabilization. None of those really seemed to help. The reason is the mechanics of the iPhone lenses. They are floating on some springs, and no matter what you do, whether it's a software hack or a magnet hack, um, it's still floating on top of those lenses, um, so this needs to be a fix coming from like Apple, um, making the lens system a lot more rigid. They initially did this optical image stabilization for shooting photos, and intention wasn't for people to be moving with videos. Um, so we are hoping they're gonna improve. Uh, what's next? Our bags. We're gonna go through our bags. You don't have, you don't have your bag? I have it. Oh, you, oh. you didn't even see it. So I see slim. It. So slim, <laughs> slim profile. Uh, let's display it on this table here. You just want me to show my bag? Yeah, just the stuff inside yeah. of it. Your kit. Well, I saw brand using this Peak Design bags for a while. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw they re released the this small one, I'm like, this is a perfect gateway to getting the other one. So I bought this little one uh, from them. And I'm loving it, so I think I'm gonna buy the big ones as well. <laughs> um, it's perfect for me, just for travel purposes, um, biking around the city. Uh, I think it's perfect size. They also make fun of it as like a um, fanny pack. Mm. That's what it's called, right? A fanny pack? Yeah. <laughs> but I use it in this style. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot more packable. Satchel. Mini uh, backpack. Is that bag available in the free flight store? It is actually. <laughs> No, we have it on our store as well, so you can buy it on gomovie.com. Uh, can, can we see what's inside? Yeah, I love how fast you can make it loose and then open the bag. In this section, I have a pretty big um, portable charger from Anchor. And I didn't even think this was big enough to fit that, but it does. Uh, and here... Uh, we have a section with all the different cables I use, lightning cables, USB-C cables, uh, my pants, everything else goes here. They have little four, four little pockets here. So, take these out, see what goes in my bag. <laughs> and then... This is your Mobi charging cable? So, yeah. Sometimes you can, you can put the moment lenses up there too. Yeah, mm. that's where they go. This is kind of flexible also, it's really nice. This is where my movie goes. You can go either like this or like in this form if you want to just grab and shoot. Um, here I have my keys, my tiny little wallet, uh, my glasses. <laughs> um, Those are important. My little flask of whiskey. Uh, some uh, extra 18650 batteries. Uh, a little lens cleaning uh, and there's this section as well where your if you have a little ipad mini uh, or ipad mini pro it, it will fit here i usually put an extra iphone uh, since i have many for testing at free flight uh, and then i usually have a little book or a kindle uh, that fits there as well yeah this whole thing just came out from this this little bag
Have you ever attached the wireless charger battery pack to the back of the iPhone when it's on Moby? Is there a max weight that you can put into the Moby? Wireless. Like the, he's talking about the, the Qi, the contact charging. Oh, I have like not. On the, on the back like of a little it. flat pack on the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have not, but and if, if the reason is to be able to charge your iPhone, you can already do that. If you can find a, a USB-C to lightning cable, uh, you, you can plug that one end to your movie, other end to your iPhone, and your movie will charge your iPhone. It works on the counterweights too. There's a little slot. Actually, the slot right here that is kind of a path for the cable to get into the phone. So, yeah, you can already do that. USB C to the lightning. But generally, if it fits in the clamps. Yeah, generally, if it fits in the clamps and you balance it, it can sustain the weight. Yeah, this is my Movi bag. Dennis' is Movi bag. So like Dennis said, I've got the big boy. This is the 30 liter everyday backpack. So I first saw Tab with this bag. And so, and I kind of looked it over and I was like, look at all the little pockets and the little, the red accents and everything and the little magnet latch. And I love that. And, and then I started traveling more because I work remote in Ohio and I come back to FreeFly about once a month and there's a couple of nice things for traveling with this as well. Uh, first top pouch here, there's like a mini pouch. So to kind of dig into here, I've got extra batteries, uh, lightning to HDMI, little flashlight. Actually this little guy here, this it's called a Leaf but SanDisk also, also makes one of these. Um, I use this quite a bit. So you can plug this into your phone. It's like a thumb drive for your phone. And then there's an app that you can transfer. I transfer my Movi clips into the thumb drive. And then I take this and plug it into my computer. So I, it's just a faster way to transfer a lot of files. So I use that a lot. That's called a Leaf. Um, this is Moments little lens cleaning kit or lens cl cleaning pen. It's got a little brush on this side and you can unscrew the top here because the back of the moment lens is back of the moment lens is kind of small like that and so the traditional pen or scrubber won't get in there but if you got this little guy really nice so I keep that with me all the time car keys um, I usually have my laptop in here and my iPad sometimes. Keep that in there. Then this top hatch. So let me show you the profile of this actually. It's got a bunch of different little dividers that are flexible and you can fold things in and out. Um, I keep my a camera here. It's an A7S, a little mouse pad. Uh, I keep that for shooting stills or anything of our of Moby or anything while I travel. Uh, headphones. This is Moment's little uh, like two lens pouch. I have the Moment Tele in here. Another set of head headphones. Another I have like tools and stuff in here, like a kit of batteries and wrenches and stuff like that. Just a little pouch there. Power. Uh, these could roll over and it's kind of nice. That's pretty much it. Um, there's other cables and stuff I have on the side. Lens cleaning cloth, a battery, an extra battery for my camera. So yeah, that's kind of our, that's kind of our kits. I think there's a question for Dennis. Uh, Frank was asking, did you say when charging the movie, it also charges the attached iPhone. No, there is only one uh, USB-C port. Uh, I don't think we tested being able to charge both the iPhone and another cable there. What I meant was, uh, you can always plug a cable one end to the movie, other end to the iPhone. And if movie is on, it will be charging your phone. Uh, since like 18650s have a lot of capacity and you can just hot swap them with other ones as well. Uh, this way you can just keep shooting whole day um, without recharging your phone in between. So 
but we don't know about the max weight, right? Um, I don't know anything on top of my head. I can't. I don't. I don't know about weight, but we there was a guy at NAB. He had this huge case. Remember that? He had this huge case on his phone because he had like a Zeiss lens. Oh, they are really heavy. Yeah. And it was really heavy, and we were able to get it in, and uh, and the hydrogen. And the hydrogen that that fits as well. There's I can't remember the guy on Instagram, but he posted a picture of the hydrogen in the movie. I I think so as long as you're under a kilogram, it should be fine. I don't know any uh, rated payload we specified for public, but yeah. Have you seen some crazy setups? What was his name, Hugh? Phil Philip Holland. Phil Holland. Phil Holland had the hydrogen in the movie. If you guys want to look that up. Yeah. Um. Okay. What's next? What we got is movie tricks, movie trick shots. Oh. Yeah. I like tricks. So the first one, I called the inverted tripod mount. So on the bottom of the movie, if you guys haven't noticed it, there's a quarter 20 mount at the bottom of it. So if you take your tripod mount or plate, Screwed into the base. Good like that. Attach it to your tripod. Oh, just a second. And then as long as your tilt is unlocked and your roll is locked, you can just dip the movie over and it'll find that horizon. And so now I kind of shoot with it like this and I shoot around like that. You can pull it all the way up if you wanted to. Start here and as you move in, you can drop it down, get a nice low, low shot without having to arc your back or Anything like that. This is also easy for handoffs. If you're like, drop it down to Dennis or something, he can grab it real easy. You got it? Yeah, or I can extend this part. Or I can extend that and then just do a little smooth shot like that or something. <clears throat> so that's one. vertigo effect with the Mobi? Vertigo effect? So with that, you have to push in and then zoom out on something like that. Currently, there's no zoom feature on, whoa. There's no zoom feature on the movie, but um, that'd be nice to do. I mean, I think people have tried it, but we don't offer zoom capabilities on the movie right now. I think we will. We will in the future, though. I heard there's an Android, Android question. Well, there it Benji, is. <laughs> how is Android development going? Uh, it's in progress. <laughs> yeah. So our target release uh, month is September right now. Uh, it's currently in progress. It's not in beta. We are actively developing right now. And uh, we will be also releasing uh, API soon. So any third party people, <coughs> including third party companies or personal projects can use the API to make your own app for a movie. Give me help. So the next shot, I call it a, a rapid freeze push pull. I, I was messing around with my kids and uh, and I was able to figure this out. So while you're in Majestic, and if you go to Menu, and you're under Robot, Majestic, and then Trigger Function, you can set it to toggle uh, roll, to lock roll on or off, to freeze on or off, or to change the response from high, medium, to low. So if you have it on freeze, um, and I pulled the trigger, that's this front trigger here, the action trigger, it'll keep that heading as much as the limits of the Mobi permit. So, it, so that, that stays the same. Then I pull it again and then it goes back into Majestic. So what I was doing with this is I, I pulled the, I started the freeze and I kind of just like moved it like that. And I was still able to keep that heading of that shot and just in and out, of, in and out like that. And you could run, keep that heading worry about the vertical translation and then you're good. It's also nice to get overhead shots too. You can well, angle yeah. first. You can angle like that, pull the trigger, and then just, you know, you just worry about the stuff you're going to hit. 
so that your path is smooth. Same thing for low stuff. Keep it low like that. Pull the trigger. So that's freeze. Um, this one's a little more complicated. Uh, I call this like a TikTok roll. <laughs> um, so if I go into, and what, what it is is I, I go in on this shot, I go in counterclock or yeah, uh, clockwise, then I pull back out counterclockwise, but they also snap to those horizons. So if you tap on the, the method button, and you go into barrel roll, and this here says end, and it's either snap or hold. If it's hold, I activate it and I press it again, it'll hold that, that roll. Um, and so what I did is I have it on snap, and so this will snap to the nearest uh, vertical or the nearest horizon, vertical or horizontal horizon, I guess. So I set my speed to 20. Um, push in, I activate it, and then I pull the trigger again until it snaps vertically, and then I tapped the direction, and then pulled the trigger again, then pulled out, and then trigger again to snap it to the horizon. It's, it's a little complicated, but it's a fun shot, and if you do it right, it could look really cool. Um, and you can change the speed of the, mo of the roll by moving this up or down. You can also do it with uh, right or left on the D-pad. Left will decrease it, right will increase it. The speed. What did you say you That's changed the on the, uh, you tapped the screen to change what? I changed the direction of the oh, roll. Oh, okay. So I, first it's clockwise, then I snapped it to the vertical, and look at that, it shoots in vertical. And then I tapped it again to change the direction to go counterclockwise, and snapped it to the horizon. I was pulling that trigger to activate and deactivate the roll. Tick-tock roll. <laughs> Tick-tock roll. Uh, this one, it's kind of the same. It's just a little different perspective. <clears throat> yeah, so the camera's pointing down and I'm doing the same uh, roll thing, but I'm, it's just a different angle. And it looks really nice because you can just point the, the, the gimbal down and start on the floor or something, and then activate the trigger as you pull up, and then snap it again, the trigger, and then you can snap it. I mean, and you change the direction, and then push it back down. It's just a nice, like, falling effect that it can give. It's, uh, th these things are like, yeah, when am I gonna use that? They're pretty, you can't use them, like, all the time, but if there was some kind of scene that you wanted, Slow mo of someone falling down. You want to follow? I don't know something like that. You can you can use that kind of kind of barrel roll, that boom roll. Not that your family is not so interesting, but when I see this on your Instagram, I yeah. really want to follow you. Yeah, the whole I mean, thing looks a lot cooler. Yeah, it makes yeah, yeah. Is it possible to attach more than one device to the movie? What does that mean? More than one device to <laughs> the movie? Two phones. You can tape them together and then use conduits to balance? We've never tried. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That one's tricky. I don't know. Um, okay. Oh. Any questions? I'm looking to buy the Moby hoodie accessory for a microphone, but also trying to attach a light. At the same time? Yeah. Ooh. You'd probably find some extension that has from two. hoodie. There's actually, you could probably... Mic. Yeah, you could also... You could do the mic below on the quarter 20. And then with the hoodie, have the light on there. So you can have the, the mic below you, pointing like this. And then the light up here on the hoodie. That would work. Mm -hmm. You can't set it down anymore, obviously, but that would definitely work. Yeah, I would personally find a way to extend the hoodie. So there are probably attachments for a cold shoe to extend. So you can attach two things. So you mm. put the adapter first to the hoodie. Yeah, if that makes sense. Any other questions? Nope. Is there any way to use Rhodes' new lightning connection mic coming out on the movie? Lightning connection mic. Yeah, right now you have to use the adapter. Oh, like for like mobile phones. I'm sure, yeah. That would totally work. I don't see why not. 
have to test. Sure, yeah, well, we'll have to test it and to give you a 100% answer, but as of right now, I don't see why it's not working, why it wouldn't work. Are there parts available to replace broken ones? Broken, broken movies? What? Movies? Mm -hmm. It's not very easy to repair your own movie, I think. Like, like what, what, what parts? Is there anything parts? specific you guys are asking? Any parts specifically? No, you don't have repair parts available. Just send it in support, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you send it back to us, we can fix it up. Uh, Fit on Photography asks, does it work with the iPhone 8 Plus? Yes. Yes, it does. If we should have had a plus phone out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, we initially didn't specify iPhone X, like, specifically supported, so people are like, is it supported iPhone X? Yeah, yeah everything can fit in there. Uh, we did uh, put some specs on what the maximum height is, so that if you have different type of cases, uh, you can figure out if your movie will uh, accommodate that. I think we got a couple more questions, right? Maybe. Um, it will not upset the balance for the cable that much. Uh, I would make sure to run it with that clip. Uh, attachment so uh, your phone is not in the way. It comes with a hoodie. It comes with the hoodie. Mm -hmm. Comes out of here, you can run it through that little hook there. Yeah, you want to get like uh, your balance should be good enough so that movie is not spending so much power and then tuning is not trying to fight that balance. But if it's not like 100% perfect, uh, especially if you're a movie pro customer, uh, so used to like getting perfect balance, uh, it should not be an issue on mode. Cool. Any other questions coming in? No What's responses? going on next week? So next week, our next uh, episode in our Moby series of YouTube Live is Moby Lapse and Time Lapse. Um, follow us on our social channels and we'll tell you what time and what day, but it will be next week. So exciting. Yeah, really exciting stuff. If there's no more questions, then I think we'll, uh, that's it. We're all done. Thanks for, vo thanks for watching. Follow us on all of our social stuff. Back to work. Back to work. Oh. <laughs>